turned up, it'll make every bit of my two thousand. All right, guys, so just real quick, right before we get started, we have our new specialty hoodies available on our website now. I am doing a pre-order only, and I am making 50 hoodies only, so very limited quantity specialty hoodie. The website is dspstreetracing.com. We have hoodies, shirts, hats, and a bunch of other things on there. Make sure to check it out. By the time you're watching this video, there's probably only about five hoodies or five pre-orders left. So if you want to guarantee yourself a hoodie, make sure you go to the website and pre-order it, dspstreetracing.com. Thank you all for watching and thank you all for the support. Enjoy. So we're about to tear this damn motor out, but I gotta fix this plate first because we got a little gap here. So I'm gonna break it off and then re-tack it. Or actually we have to break these off and then uh, put the bars in, huh? Yeah, and this is wanna cut it right there. I don't know we can. No, watch. Yeah, we got to break this off and then tack it where it goes. No, yeah, yeah. Just to fix it, right? Yeah, just to fix it. But we don't need to cut this one out. No, we just need to cut this. The, the aluminum one. Yeah, for that Which, bar. That's the mark right there. Okay. And that's the mark on that side. So let me just break that out and then re-tack it. You what? Ah. Let me see that. All right, guys. So I got a weld these two in this one and that one these go right here so i'm gonna weld them completely in and then i'll weld these in after that way i can weld all the way around and then once i finish all of this stuff then we'll pull the motor and paint the bay completely welded in this one and that one so now i had to bust these plates out that way i could weld all the way kind of back around there but i have them fit up on the plate the plate tightened so i'm gonna weld them in now take the plate out finish welding them in and then we'll pull the motor out for real so we were gonna get ready to clean up this bay and get it all painted and everything but then we remembered we had these guys to install 
they go from this bar and then they go welded into the cage so basically i'm going to start on this obviously they give you a bunch of extra length depending on your application you got to cut it and notch it i bought a notcher from harbor freight so we'll see how that works but right now i'm going to measure this see how much we have to cut off the back and then start getting closer to it So I got to get a rough estimate of how much to cut off of that back bar. I bought fabrication. Looking down like eight inches, but I'll probably do like six and a half, seven, just so I don't go too far. Probably start with six and a half. We'll get it closer and we'll get a better idea of what's going on. about an inch and a half I'll probably cut start with an inch I think fuck that's high high still so it needs like another inch and a half but I mean you can't just go that quick place them in the shaft Oh, that should look pretty good. That should look pretty fucking sweet. I don't know. Just shimmy now. Okay, so we're still too long. Oh, it does go through? Oh shit, that might help us with. Oh, but it might need to go down. It needs to go down. Fuck. Okay, I see. Fuck this. This notch is fucking sweet. I think I can go like another inch, dude. To drop it? Yeah. I'm gonna try and see how how much I can notch this on the on the notcher, and I'm just gonna go probably everything or probably about an inch. Let me find. It. So let's say it was there, from here to the back is about an inch. Yeah. So let's just see if we can get another inch off of it. Is it recording? Mm -hmm. So. That's right about an inch, and that's probably as far as I can put this piece in this notcher. Well, it looks like this notcher is done for. <laughs> One notch out of this fucking thing. One and a half. So obviously my notcher deal was a fail, so I gotta get to it, uh, notching it by hand with the grinder, so let's get it. It's obviously very off, but let's just test it out and see if it fits or not. Damn, we're really close here. Yeah, look, come check it out. So really we can either make this shorter or cut this end, but it'll be a little high. It goes that way. Can you lift up from the back side over there? No. Oh, it's under the bar. I mean, I kind of like this height, but also like 
We gotta think of hood. Yeah. Clearance. So. If this is roughly our height, you know, saying we weld it right here and it's notched here, we have an, a space here, but we need to measure that. So our distance here is about an inch and a half. I'm gonna start with an inch and a quarter. Yeah, see what it does. Yeah. And then we'll see where it ends. Okay guys, my phone was dying so I didn't record everything, but we haven't missed too much. So this is where we're kind of at right now. This is my whole main notch. Don't look as beautiful as a machine, but that's where we're sitting in here. And we put this fender on kind of to see how whereabouts the hood is gonna fit but it looks like the bar is still beneath the uh, fender for now and well that equals below the hood but we got to cut a little notch right in here to clear this tube that we welded in that way we can see exactly where the fender is going to go and just be sure that this is still under the fender <laughs> You guys see that we are still low enough so i think um i kind of screwed this up because this i don't think is enough meat for me to do a notch in here and i think i might have either a little gap here or it's just not going to be perfect fitment here um mainly we're doing these for looks but obviously we want them to function for stiffening up this chassis a little bit so I'll, I'm gonna do my best to TIG weld in here. I don't even know how I'm gonna weld this to be honest with you. But hopefully I can get a decent fit up in here and I think this side is almost done and then we're gonna have to move on to the next side. <laughs> I wish I could have made this notch a little better. This fit up's gonna kind of suck to weld. We'll see how I can make it look good because that's a very obvious weld. And then back here, we're in some trouble ish. But I think I'm just gonna send it right there and, and do my best to weld this in too because I mean. I already screwed it up and cut it too short. Unless we try it over there and see if it fits better. Let's go try it over there real quick. That's oh, too short. Never mind. We're too short on this side. Way too short. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to use that over there. Uh, you know, wish I could have made it a little bit better, but it's all good. Now, now I know not to cut that side too much. Let's just get to that side. Um, I don't know if I'm going to film that. You guys get the gist. Other than the fact that we do have to notch this a little bit. Because, I don't know, this probably had some type of purpose. I don't know what this little lump is for. But we are going to notch this a little bit. That way that, that bar can clear this. And we can bring it down just a little bit. But Not just that notch. That whole thing is kind of way different than this one. It is, huh? It's way higher up. Oh, yeah. You could tell. Yeah, this whole like setup right here is a lot different. I bet even in the fender... This thickness here is probably even cut different. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to have to probably cut a whole little nice section out of here. But we'll do that, and then I'll catch up with you guys when we start uh, welding these all in.
Should we mark that or should I just tack it real quick? That's gonna get hot. Fucking watch out, right? If it gets too hot, just let it go. There you go. Can you get too hot right there? Just barely. <laughs> Yeah, that one looks good on camera. This one, this one just needs to come this way. Yeah, this one's gotta come in a little bit, huh? Yeah. Let it go. Go look at it. We could just grind that clean once it's tough, huh? Yeah. So you guys just watched me tack these two bars in. I don't know how they look on camera. It really bugs me that <laughs> nothing is symmetrical on this car. Like this side is completely different from this side. So it makes it kind of annoying to figure this out. But uh, me and the boy Javi decided they're pretty, they're pretty good. But uh, Sabino's on his way. He'll be here in like five minutes or something. So... I'm going to wait for him before fully welding them in. And then uh, if we get his approval, we'll weld them in and hopefully paint this bay tonight. Alright guys, so I got these welded in. This side honestly came out like shit. <laughs> and so did this side, but it's not as bad. And, and then the back here, that's basically as best as I could do with the TIG torch. Like I said before, these we are mainly doing for the looks of it. Um, obviously, whatever it helps, it helps. But uh, the main reason we put these in is just because we like how they look. Just cause, Just cause we can. But yeah, so now we're gonna roll the car out, pressure wash it, pressure wash the bay, and then paint it tonight, hopefully. Okay, so we got the car outside. I got some simple green in here. I'm gonna spray the bay, let it simmer, and then we'll pressure wash. I'll probably put some diesel in there. Oh, that's true. Come around here. Well, I'll fucking put E85 in there. Go E85 right there. Hit the fucking clutch, dude. Come on, baby. You wanna hold it open for him, Sabino? Let's start. Bitch, I almost took off, dude. <laughs> almost took my fucking arm off. <laughs> Why'd he get hard? Let it go? Fuck. It's your turn, Javi. Dude, look no, at nothing's the side coming of your out. car, bro. Pull this way, pull it up.
over here. <laughs> I mean, I'm no electrician, but uh, be all right. Be all right. I mean, this is just full of dirt. <laughs> If I can do this wow, just gonna pay from here back. Dude, they should be looking so fucking wet on camera. It's crazy, dude. Make sure you heat up your cans. Put foil on all the stuff we don't want to paint. And we'll get ready to spray. I'll get this shit right here. Let it sit for like fucking five minutes and then we'll go at it again. Can't see one of the foil Yeah. Let's see what we can do. Chill, you're gonna fuck it all up. Let me step back and then go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucking <laughs> foil, bro. Let's leave him alone. <laughs> What boys? I think that's enough. I think we'll let it sit for a little bit now. Look around this thing, you probably have missing this stuff. Is that even needed? We should have grinded that bitch out. No, it's for the hood. Wow, well, I guess it's probably never going to use it. True. That was some hood pins, yeah. Well, alrighty, we basically got the entire bay painted. I think probably once this dries up completely, probably another day we'll come and touch up some areas. We got most of it, but there may be some stuff left. You know, we'll get some good light on it and check it out. We got some paint left over and we still got to do the rest of the tube front, but it's not done. So, I mean, obviously, obviously some of these uh, joints aren't welded just yet, but, you know, I still got to weld that front loop up here and once we start putting more of this together like mounting the radiator making mounts for the fenders and all that stuff i'm probably gonna have to weld a little bit more so that's why we haven't painted these bars but the bay is looking pretty nice hell yeah okay so that's gonna do it for painting the bay and we can cross another thing off our board damn where's my eraser at dude right here so we can cross another thing off the board here erase that guy and we're making progress kind of we've only crossed two things off but uh cold side is basically done you guys have probably seen that video by now hot side is gone already. hot side's been gone so Next, we are moving on to... Oh, motor plates are gone, too. Brake lines. Oh, yeah, motor plates are... Uh, well, I still have to drill holes in the back ones, but I'm actually cross this... I Actually, I'll cross it off in the in the motor plates video. No, I already made a motor plates video. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, never mind. I guess I just <laughs> never crossed it off. Yeah, because actually, uh, when I was at the track, I talked to... Uh, I met some new F1 dude. Fuck you. The video. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, the one, like, the white one? Yeah, he's like, I just watched the motor play video. Yeah, hell yeah. So, next, what are we moving on to? Brake lines, I think. Brake lines. After brake lines, then we'll just keep going. We got to get the motor back in. We could probably do these two. Fuel and yeah. water. Yeah. Torque arm clearance is pretty close. Yeah, torque arm really clearance is like halfway done. So we'll probably do torque arm clearance and where is mini tub? We'll do torque arm clearance and mini tub. That's all like yeah. sheet, mini, she, uh, sheet metal welding. We'll do that stuff together. I guess downpipe can be with the cold side. I yeah, da wow. uh, da well, down. we still got to get, we we just got that there because we've got to order one. Yeah. we got to order those 90s. Yeah, we'll just leave all that shit there. Yeah, we'll just leave all that stuff. But damn. That's not that much stuff crossed off, and the list already looks a little bit smaller. There's obviously stuff we have to add to it, but there it is. We're making progress. So this is the first entire vlog that I have 
filmed on my phone and I'm just doing this because I feel like I can actually make them faster and easier if I just film and edit everything on my phone. So let me know how they look. Let me know if you guys like it compared to the camera. If it doesn't look any good or if the quality is kind of shit, then I'll just go back to the camera. But anyways, we have our website fully set up now. So if anybody wants to order some shirts, I'm going to link the, the website in the description. Don't forget to follow us on all of our social media outlets, Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram. Thank you all for watching. Se la lavan.